turn to Philippians chapter 2 and Philippians chapter 3. And we're going to be focusing on a couple of very important points today. You know, how many of you uh, remember Johnny Cash? Y'all remember Johnny Cash? Mm -hmm. Johnny Cash, the traveling guitar man. His life of many years of songs, in prison, out of prison, on the road, that was Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. Well, Johnny Cash wrote a song, and I'm gonna read you the words of the song, and then we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna talk to you about the value of what is spoken from the book of Philippians. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about hearing the train coming, that's a judgment lesson. Mm -hmm. It's a song called, I Walk the Line. In that song, he says, I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends uh, out for the tithe that binds. Because you're mine, I walk the line. In the second verse, he says, I find it very, very easy to be true. I find myself alone when each day is through. Yes, I'll admit that I'm a fool for you mm -hmm. because you're mine. Yeah. I'll walk the line. Mm -hmm. In the third stanza of the song, Johnny Cash says, As sure as the night is dark and the day is light, I keep you on my mind day and night. And happiness I've known proves what's right because you're mine. I'll walk the line. And then the last one, he says, You've got a way to keep me on your side. You give me cause for the love that I can't hide. For you know, I, for you know, I know, I've even tried to turn the tide. But because you're mine, I walk the line. Hmm. Now, of course, Johnny Cash was talking about the love of his life in that song. But I'm getting ready to flip the script because contained within this song, is really what it takes for you and I to be a child of God. Yes. Believe it or not, when I break this down, you're going to say, I didn't know all that was in that song. My friends, there is information in this song that can help keep you and me faithful to God. Yes. Let's look at the first one. You know, you know living a Christian life is a lot like I love the circus. And you go in the circus, one of the best acts in the circus is the high wire, right? Mm -hmm. In the high wire, they're sitting up there, you see that person way up there, up against the tent. The little feet gripping the wire. Mm -hmm. And they got the stick and they're holding it. Mm -hmm. And they go on one foot, and then they go next foot, and you see them shake a little bit on the line. And then they go next foot, and you see them shake a little bit on the line. All the way across the big top, they walk. Yeah. But if they miss one step mm -hmm. or they lose their balance, yeah. down they go. You know, the Christian life is a lot like that. And the Christian life is a life where you must walk the line. Okay. You've got to walk the line. You know, it's like being on that tightrope where the devil will use whatever he can to knock you off the high wire. Amen? Yeah. But you've got to stay focused in walking the line, which is point number one. Mm -hmm. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 9, the apostle Paul gives us some insight. When Johnny Cash says, I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the time that binds because you're mine. I walk the line. What do you say to that, Paul? Focus. Yes. The apostle Paul says in verses 5 through 9, listen, if, if, you, if you follow me, you go there and he says this. He says, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the fashion of a man, he humbled himself because of obedient unto death, even unto the cross. Yes. Wherefore God had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That is Jesus Christ. My Amen. friends, and at the name of Christ, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. What are you saying, Paul? Hmm. Walking the line is first about focus. Yes. 
In that first stanza, that stanza, Johnny Cash says, I'm focused. Mm -hmm. I'm focused. And if you're a child of God and you're walking the tightrope, walking the line like you and I, we, we know the devil is after us. We know that there are challenges ahead of us. Yeah. We know that there are people trying to push us off the wire, blow us off the wire. My friends, Paul yeah. says it's about focus. focus. What am I focusing on? I'm focusing on the fact that Jesus Christ died. When I look at Philippians chapter 2, Paul reminds us what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He left heaven. He made himself like a man. Mm -hmm. He came to this earth. And he walked through all the trouble and all the pain and all the trial. He humbled himself and he died when he didn't have to. Yes. He didn't have to. Yes. But the Bible says he did it. It's the attitude of Jesus. And my friends, the first step in walking the line is for us not to forget who died for our sins. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's number one. Yes. When we are at the head of remembering who died for our sins. That puts us on the line and in line on the line. Amen. Amen. You know, Romans 5, 8 says, while we were yet sinners, sinners Christ, Christ died, died for the ungodly. We can't forget that. Yes. That is the start of faithfulness. Yes. Focus. You focus and remember who died for your sins. Yes. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. It wasn't my mother. It wasn't my father. It was Jesus Christ. The Amen. Bible says, who made himself of no reputation. The very son of God took upon him the form of a servant. He didn't have to. Yes. And he made himself in the likeness of man. He didn't have to. Yes. And then Lord. he humbled himself and became obedient to the death on the cross. He Amen. didn't have to. Yes. And my friends, that's enough right there to keep me on walking the line. That's enough right there to keep me faithful. Yeah. But there's more. Focus. And then number two, fix. Look at Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 13. When you are walking the line, you've got to have this in mind. Johnny Cash says, I find it very, very easy to be true. I find myself alone when each day is through. Yes, I'll admit I'm a fool for you because you're mine. I walk the line. What do you say about that, Paul? It's about fixing your heart. What do you say, Paul? Verse 12. Not as though I've already attained, even though already perfect, but I follow after that I have apprehended that which also I have apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, verse 13. I count myself to be, to have apprehended. I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind mm -hmm. and reaching forth unto the things that are before. I press, highlight that. I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Paul is saying, not only must I focus on the fact that Jesus died for my sins, but number two, I must fix my heart in that direction. Yeah. I've got to be committed to walk according to that truth. He says, I haven't made it yet. I know Jesus died for my sins, but that's where it starts. Yes. That's not where it's finished. Mm -hmm. I must recognize Jesus died for my sins, and then I start running the race. Amen? Amen. I've got to run the race. He says, yeah. I haven't already achieved. I haven't already attained. He says, I must Forget the things that are behind, and I've got to focus, and I've got to fix myself to press for the mark of the prize of the high calling amen. in Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. Focus, fix. Number three, look at Psalms chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Johnny Cass says, as sure as the night is dark and the day is light, I keep you on my mind both day and night. And happiness I've known proves it's right because you're mine. I walk the line. If you go over to the book of Psalms and you look at verse 2 and 3, you'll see what David does. He gives us insight into this. You and I must be the type of people when it comes down to making a decision for Jesus Christ that we have to make a decision 
that is a permanent decision. It's not a decision that you walk away from. It is a permanent decision. It is a fixed decision. And when you look at Psalms chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, the Bible says this. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Of course, he says, blessed is the man that walk in the counsel of ungodly or sit in the seat of sinners. So he says, that man's delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. My friends, David says, not only do we focus, not only should we fix, but he says that we must plant, my friends. You have got to plant your feet. Plant your feet into the word of God, the spiritual yes. word. You've got to plant your feet in a place where you can be spiritually nourished and developed. You've got to plant your feet where you can make sure that you honestly and truly are walking that line. Yes. Walking that line requires a focus. It requires you to be fixed. It requires that you plant. The Bible says that planting means that I will meditate on his word day and night. And when I meditate on his word day and night, I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Yes. My friends, God will nourish you. God Amen. will feed you. God yes, will, will grow you. God will yes. nourish you. God Amen. will develop you. But Amen. you've got to be the type of person that says, Lord, I will walk the line. Yes. Because you're mine. I walk the line. Yes. I understand. And I remember who Jesus is and what he did for me. Yes. I'm willing to fix my heart, pressing yes. forward for the prize of the mark of the high calling. Yes. And then I'm willing to plant day and night. I'm willing to commit like that tree. I'm going to stand there. Yes. I'm going to take in the sunshine. I'm yes. going to take in the roots. And I'm going to be ready for anything the devil throws my way. Yes. That when the devil or his demons challenge me i'm going to be able to say no not today Satan. Yes. not today not tomorrow yes. not ever because i'm like the tree planted by the rivers of water my friends yes. you know you're going to walk the line amen you're going to walk the line i keep a close watch on my heart of mine i keep my eyes wide open all the time yes. i keep the ends out for the time it buys because you're mine. I walk the line. My friend, you recognize your sincere commitment to Jesus Christ. You recognize that the gospel is God's power unto salvation. Romans yes. 1 16. And because you do, yeah. and because you recognize whose you are, yes. you walk the line. Amen. You walk the line. Yes. And there is nothing and there is no one that's going to take that away from you. That's what Paul said in the book of Philippians. Nobody is going to rip that faith from my heart. Nobody's yes. going to take that away from me. Yeah, okay. What I have, I keep. Now, I know I'm not in heaven yet, and I know I haven't made it yet, and I know there are challenges ahead for me, but I'm yes. going to tell you something. I'm going to walk the line yes. in this life. Amen. No matter what the challenges, no matter what the troubles, yes. no matter what the problems, I'm going to walk the line. I am committed to do what is right all the time. Yes. My friends, all the time. Yes. So we remember. Fix it. We fix. Yes. We plant. Day and night. We okay. meditate. We study to show ourselves approved unto God. A workman that need not be ashamed. We take God's word, the Bible, and we read Psalms. We yes. take God's word, the Bible, and we read Proverbs. Yes. We take God's word, the Bible, and we read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We yes. take God's word, the Bible, and we read Philippians and Revelations and other books. My yes. friends, why? Yes. Because you are girding yourself up, become stronger and stronger, and a powerful worker and a faithful, true worker of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. He says in the final verse, You've got a way to keep me on your side. You give me cause for love that I can't hide. For you, I know even to turn the tide because you're mine. 
I walk the line. You know, when I think about that, I think about Philippians 3.14. Hmm. He says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Jesus Christ. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything he be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. The apostle Paul said, stand in the word. Stand on the word. Stand in the truth. Stand on the truth. The apostle Paul calls us to be faithful yes. to the cause of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. My friends, we get home by the faith. You know, there's nothing greater than hearing, well done, not good and faithful servant. Yes. But I can tell you, in Revelation 2, 10, the Bible makes it clear. The Bible said, he that is faithful unto death will receive the crown of life. What does that mean to you? Amen. When I'm walking the high wire in that service, mm -hmm. and I'm just one foot in front of the other, you don't see the high wire person go, oh yeah, I got this. You've never seen a high wire guy do this. Right. Every single time you watch the high wire, it's one foot in front of the other. Very careful. Yes. Balance. One foot in front of the other. Balance. One foot. And eventually what happens? Yes. Eventually, yes. Yes. one foot in front of the other, they get to the other side. Yes. My friends, your life and my life is like walking on the high wire. We can't just dangle and run and, and flip and kick on the high wire, we've got to take it one step at a time. Yeah. None of us are that good that we can just be flipping on the high wire, dancing on the high wire. We can't be doing that. Right. We, we will fall, we right. will fall down. Yes. We will yeah. fall down. Yes. My friends, we must take this one step at a time. Yes. One step at a time. Right. One step at a time is what it takes. Yes. We've got to do it one step at a time because, again, mm -hmm. the Bible makes it clear. We can and we will survive if we do it one step at a time. Amen. Don't let anyone tell you that you can make it by just being flipping and dancing. And like, hey, I'm going to give it. No, it's not stuff. We do it. Yes. The Bible says, walk the line not run the line yes walk not it. flip on the line yeah walk. the bible says walk the line yes. and the way you walk the line is one step at a time yes focus. paul says i know i haven't made it and i've got a ways to go yes. but i will put one foot in front of the other and we will make it happen yes we can't get there Amen. one step at a time Amen. and brothers and sisters Wow, we're walking the line, and your brother's walking the line, and your sister's walking the line. You can be there to encourage that brother, that sister, and say, you can make it. Yes. You can make it. Yes. You can do it. Yes. That's what he's talking about. We have to encourage one another yes. and build one another up and yes. say, take that next step. Take that. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Don't have fear. Don't be afraid. Yes. Stand there one foot at a time. You can do it. It's like... Having a baby walk the first time. Yes. You encourage that child. You encourage that child. Child stands up and she's all wobbly. Next thing you know, they say, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. The baby say, Right. My friends, that's what it's like. Yes. Child of God, when we are under duress. Yes. And we are under strain. And we think we just can't make it because the devil's putting so much pressure on us. You've got to hey, be there for that brother and for that sister and say, come on, come on, you can make it. One yes. foot in front of the other. Yes, Because Focus. we all have sinned and fallen short. Amen. We all have challenges and weaknesses. Yes. We all have things that can cause us to fall yes. off of the wire. Yes. That's why God says we ought to be there one for another. Amen. Encouraging one another. Amen. Building one another up. We have to be there yes. pushing one another. Yes. You gotta be that coach for your brother, that coach for your sister. Amen. And that brother or sister has to be that coach for you and yes. that coach for me. Yes. That's what he's talking about. Amen. Focus. Face. Yep. 
Yeah. Plant. Plant. And then finish the race. Finish it. Finish the race. Yes. Because we know God is on our side. The Bible says, if God be for us, who yes. can be against us? Romans. Yes. If God is for us, who can be against us? Listen, Amen. you can, I don't care how high that wire is. And some of us are on some pretty high wires. Mm -hmm. Because we've gotten ourselves in some pretty difficult situations. Yes. But it doesn't matter whether your wire is two feet off the ground or 29,000 feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. You can walk the line. And you can walk the line successfully because you have God. And because you have Amen. Jesus. Because if God is for me and I'm doing my very be best, you. who can be against me? Amen. Amen. Who can be against me? Yes. We need to understand today. That the key to walking the line, yes. The key to walking the line is to walk with God. Amen. Walk with God. Believe one hundred percent what His Word says. Yes. The promises of this book are true, and if you walk by these principles and you apply these principles, you will walk the line. Yes. And at the end of the life, you will hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Amen. My Amen. friends, I hope today this has been encouraging to you. Yes. Because we can be successful. Don't let anybody tell you you can't be successful being a Christian. Don't let anybody tell you you can't be successful living for Jesus. Don't let anybody tell you you can't be successful in your relationship with God. Because you can. The Bible says, I can do all things Christ through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. Amen. That's what the Apostle Paul is the essence of Philippians. I can do all, all things, things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I can walk the line. Amen. And I can do it successfully. And yes. I can find the strength. Yes. And I can yes. find the power yes. to make it no matter what comes my way. Amen. No okay. matter how the devil brings him and his demons against me. I can do it because God says I can do it. Yes, he can. So my friends, today we challenge you in your Christian life. We all on the tightrope. We yes. all on the walking one step at a time. Yes. But then remember what Paul said. I can do all things yes, through Christ. Christ. That strengthens me. me. And as you're on that line, Amen. challenge. If the wind blows a little bit and people are yelling, and you feel like you're shaking and you're losing your balance. Have yes. faith. Yes. And the Lord God Hold will on. strengthen you. Yes. And your brothers and sisters will strengthen you. Yes. But the most important thing is you must plant daily. Yes. Plant, invest in the word of God. Yes. Feed your heart yes. with the word of God. Study the word of God. Yes. And yes. let that truth, John 8, 32, mm -hmm. set you free. Amen? Amen. Walk the line, my friends. Walk the line. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. Mm -hmm. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ears out for the time that binds mm -hmm. because you're mine. Yes. I walk the line. Yes. Because Jesus Christ died for my sin and he Thank loves me Lord. this much. Yes. I walk the line. Amen. I stay on the the, 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 the high wire, the tight yes. rope. I walk the line yes. because I know what he's done for me. I walk the line because I know the promise that he's made to me. I walk the line because that great day I'm going to hear, well done. I walk the line because yes. be faithful unto death and yes. receive the crown of life. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time. And all the time, God, God is, good. is good. Let's stand on the promises of God. Amen. No matter how dangerous it is, no matter how deadly it is, no matter how treacherous it gets, walk the line. Listen to Johnny Cash. Walk the line. Yes. God can help you yes. one step at a time. Amen. Nobody said you had to have a PhD to be a Christian. No. Nobody said you had to go to theological seminary, seminary to go to heaven. No. Walk the line and be faithful yeah. and true to this book, yes. God's Word. Trusting God Jesus. bless you. God keep you. And I hope, trust, and pray that you are encouraged today to walk the line. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.